Hi guys and welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at this, which is my day-to-day -to -day toolbox. Now, I'd be lying if I said this was my only toolbox. We've got hundreds. In fact, this isn't even the whole of this toolbox. There's three sections to this. So let me know in the comments if you wanna see what's in the other two sections. But yeah, we're gonna be looking in the main compartment. Okay, so I realised that I actually started this with saying welcome back, but you guys have never actually been here before. So this is my little workshop. Well, primarily what you're seeing is one half, the other half over there is a bit of a mess at the moment, so I'm not gonna show you that. But um, yeah, this is my little workshop where I make up, you know, MDF units and doors and bits and pieces like that. So um, yeah, I like it, it does for me. But yeah, we're gonna be taking a look at, in this box. Now, I didn't think anyone would be interested in seeing this, but. I put out a poll in my community tab and 82% of you are out of like 35 votes I think it was something like that 82% of you said that you wanted to see what was in my box so this is what we're gonna uh, be taking a look at today um, now this isn't my carpentry carpentry box so you can see like I've got a lot of my planes and chisels and bits and pieces don't live in this box this is just my general hand tool box now I'm gonna warn you now, this box is a bit of a mess. I normally tidy it out once a year, but because, you know, I've been swamped busy, I haven't actually had a chance to go through this. So I'm gonna use this as a bit of an opportunity to clear out a load of stuff that's not in there. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make you all watch through that. And then I'm gonna get everything laid out on the bench so I can show you all what's in there. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna come back and talk to you. Okay, so we're halfway through sorting out and uh, I just thought I'd stop to show you some of the stuff that's in here that doesn't need to be in here. Like, for instance, like hinges. I'm carrying around loads and loads of hinges that I don't need. I'm gonna chuck them down on the floor for a minute. Like that, look, how long's that been in there? How knackered is that? I don't know if you can see that. Um, like, loads of them, loads of knackered multi-tool blades. I've been carrying around like plumbing fittings with no you know with no ends on them I mean all right I could probably make it up but I mean look at that look at that how long's that been in my box and I don't even know how that's been in there loads of screws like lo just loads of, I mean like this it's completely empty nothing in there I've been carrying that around I've got four of these little knives I mean these are great little knives but why do I need four of them in my toolbox so, um, yeah, I'm gonna have a little sort through, carry on, and then I'll get back to you. I mean, even this, look, pick a pencil, fair enough. I haven't got the end to it, and look how many leads that I've got for it. I've got four sets of leads. Kid, like bolts, offset bolts. Why have I got them in my box? So you can see the problem here with why I've had to do this. Um, you can't see, but just off screen over there is the tools that I do wanna keep. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you the mess that, uh, that's, that's accumulated in here. So yeah, I'm gonna carry on going and then I'm gonna get everything laid out and show you what we've got. Okay, so you'll have to forgive me, it started raining, but I've laid everything out on the bench just to uh, give you a little look at it. But we're gonna go through in sections. So this is like the top tray section of stuff that I keep in there. Um, and so I've got some Stanley blades and some loose ones. I need to try and get them back in there if I can. I don't know if that's possible, but we're gonna give that a go and then put the others wherever. Trend angle finder, very, very useful tool. I'll keep that on top. Always keep a lighter in there because you never know when you're gonna need it. Obviously got my Stanley knife. Little folding rule, I, I really like this. I can't even, I think I bought this from like B&Q for like a pound or something. I can't even remember where I got that from, but it's very, very handy. Um, one of them knives back in there, because they're good. 
got a couple of punches, some sharpies, 10 mil spanners. One of these is the ratchet spanner, um, worktop bolts and bits and pieces like that. Got a spare router cutter. I did have a flush trim, trim bit in here and a flush one for doing hinges as well, but I don't know what I've done with that. I've got my little marksman spray. Obviously, me combination square, which is the square that I use most. Um, you'll see when we go over to the other section that I've got a few others that I use as well. Um, tape measure, eight meter tape measure. This is my uh, Huapa, um laser distance measurer. There's a video, I'll put a link up here or here for that. Just did a review on that. Um, still ruler with one of these, you know, so you can set your distance on it. Not too distant, different to the combination square really, but I like having that. I've got some of my mitre clamps. I've got one of them missing, which is really annoying. Um, I just found this little carabiner, cheap carabiner in the back in the box. So I thought I'd put that on there to keep them all together because that's really annoyed me. Um, spare bit holder, cabinet scraper, and then this is just one of them, you know, little security bolt sets, uh, screwdriver sets, sorry. Uh, we've got some spare work top jig pins because they're always handy. A little, um, I actually make these myself, 3D print these myself, but a little scribing tool so you can put a, bear with me, pencil in the middle there. And then that's 18 mil from that point to down there. So yep, yeah, one of them. Uh, I think that's it for the, oh no, and then these. These go onto my, um, onto my big roofing square and that. Just a couple of them in there. Right, so that's it for the top section. I'm gonna spin you over now and we can have a look at what's in the rest of the toolbox. And then I'll get it all put back in and we'll have a little chat at the end. Okay, so here's a look at what's in the rest of the box. So we're gonna get through this pretty quickly. I mean, you can all see there. So we've got a couple of windbags, uh, hedgehog and a windbag. I prefer the windbag to the hedgehog bag, actually. A um, couple of scissors, that, that's a good set of scissors and that's like my rubbish set of scissors. Uh, always find them handy to have. Loads of angle brackets, always need angle brackets. A couple of spare worktop jig bolts because you normally find you turn up to a job and the, um, and the customer hasn't supplied them. I've got my daily runner hammer. I've got a much better hammer um, that my lovely missus bought for me, but that's my daily like basher hammer. Dead blow mallet, uh, that shouldn't actually be in here. That should be in the bottom section of the box, but that's the for my little um, Makita cordless skill saw. That's the little guide runner for it. Um, two pipe slices, so that's a 15 mil pipe slice, Rothenberg one, and then that does, that's also Rothenberg, but that does the waste pipe. Um, I love that thing. Profile finder, um, a socket set, and the, uh, the, the driver for that, and then I've also got one of them, so you can adapt that and put it on the drill. One of these, um, it's supposed to fit anything, it's rubbish, don't bother buying one of them. I'll keep it in there because I've got it, but I don't ever use it. Um, speed square, and then I, I really like this square. Like I said, I can com I can combine that with these, and it just gives me, I find it a really nice square. So I use that all the time. Um, pair of pincers, and then we've got a pair of um, sliding bevels. Now I'll keep two of these on here, because if you're doing roofing, obviously you need one for your seat and one for your plumb, so it's good, and they're completely different, so you can't mix them up. I'd recommend that, have two that don't look the same. Um, just so, yeah, and then always use one. So I always use this one for the plum cut and I always use this one for the seat cut, just so you get into a routine of not getting your angles wrong on there. A um, Couple of scrapers, these are really good. These little plastic scrapers, you get that these are a pound in home base, these. I um, stumbled upon these per chance, but they're really good because they're soft, so they don't damage stuff. Um, you know, you run out of the mill scraper. This scraper, I love this. So my dad gave me this scraper donkeys years ago. I apologize about that rain. That might be really annoying. Um, my dad gave me this scraper and this is just like, you can bash on it. it. It's metal right away through. So you can bash on it. You can use it to pry stuff off because it's stiff. I use this all the time. I love it. Um, Vaunt router cutter. I don't know why that's in there. That needs to go into the router box. A uh, little bradle that I made from just a 
snapped screwdriver, snapped the end off of it by accident, so I just turned that into a little braddle. A um, couple of flush trim saws, so this one I just use for, you know, rubbish where there's glue and all that. And then this is my nice flush saw, really nice one. I found that on a uh, Scott Brown Carpentry uses them all the time. Managed to find one, not cheap, but they're really good. Obviously, selection of screwdrivers over here. Um, all sorts, you know, little stumpy screwdrivers, electrical screwdrivers, all sorts going on over there. A pack of red plugs, because red plugs are the ones you should be using. Some random jigsaw blades. I need to find a home for them, to be honest. Um, yeah, my jigsaw isn't in a box, so I need to find a home for them. I've just got some plastic cement. I've got some spare plinth clips that I keep on me. Spare ugh, adjustable shelf pins, but we're, you know, spare. We're going from spare to like a stockpile in here, so I need to whittle them down because there's way too much. Um, I've got a set of box spanners. I won't open them, but yeah, you can see box spanners. This is a longer one, so I'll keep that one in there as well. But that, that, that's a whole set and then a loose one. A little wire brush, I find comes really in handy. Uh, steel wire brush, not a uh, brass one. Spare plug because, well, it's not so much needed now because everything's cordless, but back in the day you'd cut your plug off of stuff, so having a spare plug was always handy. A uh, little set of um, Allen keys in there. Bashing chisel, just one that I abuse, which I shouldn't really use that because that's actually a really nice Stanley, old Stanley one. Uh, I've also got my mitre bond activator. I've normally got the, the glue in here as well, but I've lost the lid to that, so that's in the back of the van. So normally there's a, one of them in there. There's normally two space plugs, but I've, I had to use one the other day, so I've got to replace that. So I'll keep two, two space plugs on me. I've got more in the van, but I keep two on here. This is a little tool that I made myself from a little bit of bar. So what you can do is, imagine that's your plinth. You can put that in behind your plinth and pull your plinths off on kitchens. Um, and yeah that's about it really and there we have it that's everything back in the box so like i said it's not my like nice carpentry tools box it's just my um like my everyday tools if you like but i feel a lot better about that now now that like, i've got that emptied out got all of that rubbish out of there you see that massive pile of stuff that i had at the end but um yeah like i said it's not my only toolbox i've got loads and loads of toolboxes so I, i've even got one under my little girl's bed so yeah it's bad there's toolboxes everywhere but what can i say i love tools and uh, i don't think i'm ever going to stop buying tools um so yeah i mean as you can see behind you like these are all old tools but i love them so um let me know like i said this is part of a free stack system i'll put a picture up for you so you can see the rest of that so let me know if you want to see what's in the other two sections maybe i'll do them as separate videos um like i said i wasn't planning on doing this video but i thought i'd put a poll out because i was going to be cleaning the box out anyway i thought it was time to uh I could just bring you guys along and show you what's inside of it but um yeah let me know if there's anything you want me to do a video on if you'd like me to do videos on I uh, separate tools in here or the toolbox system itself i really like this toolbox system actually it's really sturdy like i i don't even take a hop up into jobs now i just use this and i stand stand on top of this and i have been for years and it's been fine i've probably had this toolbox um maybe six years now something like that um yes i love it it's great it, it it doubles up as a chair when you're inside a job you know if you're sitting down trying to eat your lunch or whatever you can sit on top of the box you can stand on it and you, you see the amount of tools that you can put in it loads in there so um yeah let me know if you want me to do a video on the whole stack system itself but yeah that's about it really oh before i go there is one more thing that we need to do that we haven't done <laughs> It's never had, I can't even pick it up now. Come on, it's never had a sticker of its own. So I think now that we're all clear and clean, it's time to get the LTW sticker on there. Also, if you want one of these LTW stickers or the bigger ones, pop over to Instagram. There's a link in the description down there and give me a message on there and I'm happy to do sticker swaps with anyone. So I'm more than happy to do that. But that's it, guys. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, probably not the most interesting video to a lot of people. But like I said, I got a lot of requests about doing this video. So I thought I'd put it together. 
But that's it, I'm gonna leave it there. I wanna thank you guys for watching along. If you wanna see more of this sort of stuff, hit that subscribe button, ding that bell, you'll be up to date with all my videos. I've also now started up a, um, I've had a lot of questions about how people can support me and all that, and I didn't wanna go down the Patreon route. So in the description, there's a PayPal one. If you wanna buy me a beer, you can do down at Patreon, but I don't expect it from anyone. I've literally just done that because I've had people asking me. So you can do that there, link in the description. But that's it, I'm going to leave it there. I want to thank you guys for watching along and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.